Hey guys, it's Monica. Welcome back to my channel. Why do I keep doing this as I say that? Welcome back to my channel. Don't know if you can tell, but the quality is incredibly, not incredibly advanced, but it's a lot better because I have an actual camera. Like I'm not shooting on my phone anymore. I have an actual Canon that I get to shoot on and I'm really excited. I just got this yesterday, so I've been opening it up and kind of just playing around getting used to it. So today's really casual. I don't have any makeup on. I thought it would be great for, great for what? Thought it would be a great day to finish up my declutter series. So I have all of my lip products right in front of me. Thought it'd be really casual. I have a coffee. Just gonna go through and clean out all of my lip products. And then I think I only have eyeshadow palettes, which I'm not really gonna do a big declutter on that one just because eyeshadow palettes are my thing. And then eyeshadow palettes and then I think that's just about it. So let's go ahead and jump in. These are all of my lip products. For someone that doesn't wear lipstick every day, this is this is quite a bit. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get rid of at least maybe not half, but maybe like 40% of what I have right here. Okay, so in this container right here is like an old candle jar that I have. I have all of my ColourPop lip so I'll go ahead and save those for last. Uh, let's see, where should I start? I have two Kylie Cosmetics matte liquid lipsticks. I never wear these. They're not great. They're really drying. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter these. I have quite a few of the NYX lip lingeries. I got for Christmas like a pack of four of these, so three of these I haven't even opened yet. Um, but the formula is nice and I do want to try out these other colors, so I'm going to hold on to the lip lingeries. These two like lip duos from Tarte I, I never use. It's the Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Gloss Combo. It's a really cool idea, but I never find myself reaching for these at all. Even though they are really pretty colors, but by now they're also like really old. So I don't know if I would feel comfortable using these anymore, so they are gonna go. Okay, adjusted you guys a little bit right there. I have this lip gloss from e.l.f. It's Champagne Glam. It's a cute lip gloss. It is plumping, so it does feel a bit tingly, but it's nice, so I'll hold on to this one. This Sephora lip gloss, it's a gel gloss, ultra brilliant. I think I got it as like a sample. Um, it's a really nice color and I love pairing this with some of my liquid lips, so I'll hold on to this one. Okay, I have four of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. I love the formula on most of them. One of the orangey ones is pretty streaky, but I love the nude, nudie patootie color and the rebel rose, so I'm gonna hold on to those two. These two peachy ones, one is Nudist Peach and one is Coral Corruption. I don't really wear them, but they are really summer colors. So I think I'm going to hold on to the Coral Corruption one and get rid of the Nudist Peach. Oh, and there's, I forgot one, there's the red one that I really, really like. So it's a, this one's called Missy and Fear, so I'm gonna hold on to this one too. Okay, this one is a Laga Cloud Lip. Not exactly sure, I think I got this in a boxy charm or something. It's really dark and I'm not really feeling dark lips too much often so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one these two I haven't really tried I've had them in my collection for a few months now and I've just never found myself reaching for them so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them they're the hard candy velvet mousse velvet mousse matte lip colors I have the shade Heather and forget-me-not uh, I've only ever swatched these once I feel like they could be better used by someone else so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these. So this one from Too Faced, I never use. I don't know why I got it. I think I bought it because it was on sale. It's like this orange color and I'll, I will never wear that. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This is technically not a, well it is a lip pencil. It's the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil from NARS in the red color. I love pairing this up with other um, like traditional red lipsticks like the Wet n Wild one or um, more recently, the Physician's Formula one that I'll get into, but I'm going to hold on to this one. Speaking of Physician's Formula, I have two of their Healthy Lip products. These are amazing. I, I really want to go ahead and order the rest of the colors for this one. The red one is great, long-wearing, long-lasting, dries down fast. The nude one is the same, but it does take a little longer to dry down, almost like 15 minutes, but it does last a long time. So I'm going to hold on to these because I love this formula. This is another one where I'm not sure why I bought it. It's an Urban Decay lipstick in sheer. I never reach for it. It's 
basically a glittery shiny lip balm that I don't really need so I'm gonna get rid of that one I have the gloss balm from Fenty Beauty definitely holding on to this one the I have the Maybelline vivid matte liquid which shade is this in nude thrill you see I haven't swatched this in a while oh that is a pretty color I think I'll hold on to this one and see if I reach for it anymore because I do like that that shade. This is a brand new Clinique lip color that I got. It's a traditional bullet formula. It's a really nice nude color and I really do want to try it out so I'm going to hold on to this one. This is an Urban Decay lipstick um, from the, the Heat line. It is Fuel. And it really is a beautiful color, just one I haven't been reaching for a whole lot lately. See, it's a beautiful, like, orange. Perfect for summer, I think. So I do want to hold on to this one. Oh. Um, so I have the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Tongue Tied. I love this color, and I love how it looks, but, like, I'm not a fan of the formula. It's really drying. And at the end of the day, it ends up looking horrible and it doesn't really reapply too well. Like if I try to reapply it over what little is left after eating or something, it, it ends up looking just cakey. So this is something, I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile just because it looks great when you first put it on. Maybe great for filming, but I wouldn't be able to wear this all day. Uh, this is a Tardis lip paint in the color Salty. Don't think I've ever actually worn this one. I got it in one of his subscription boxes. That's a bit light for me. Don't think I would ever wear that. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. So this is an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade. Oh, it doesn't have it on there. Probably because I got it in a boxy charm. But this one. It is a beautiful, like deep berry color. And I do want to hold on to that one because this is my only um, Ofra lip product that I own. This one from Pretty Vulgar, I was really surprised by. I got it in my last boxy charm, and I wasn't expecting much of it, but this is a beautiful product. It's metallic, but it's comfortable. It lasts a long time, and it got me really interested in the other shades of this product. So I am going to hold on to this one. I feel like this was one of the only good products from like our last boxy charm of the year. This is an old Avon. No, is it Avon? I don't even know. Estee Lauder? I want to say this is a really old lipstick. It's a hand me down. I haven't reached for it once since I got it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. So this is an Avon lipstick in Tender Kiss. This isn't really a great shade for me. It's a little too. Uh, I don't know how do you describe that. It's really pink. Like corally pink and I'm not into corally pinks. So that one's gonna go. This is the e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in In The Nude and this is like my perfect nude shade. It is a great color. It does last a long time. The only thing is that like the bullet broke and now it's all messy. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one just because it's because it's broken, I'm not reaching for it as often, um, but I will go ahead and repurchase this the next time I happen to see it in store. This is from L'Oreal. This is the lipstick in Jennifer's Nude. And it's, it's really sheer, but it's a really pretty lipstick, and I do love the packaging. It is just a beautiful like bullet lipstick, so I'm going to hold on to this one. Okay, so this is a lipstick from Rimmel. It is in, it's the Moisture Renew lipstick in the color Summer Angel. Let's see. And you know what, that one's really similar to the Jennifer's Nude, except it's a little more pinky. So I'm gonna declutter the Rimmel one and just stick with the, the L'Oreal one. This bullet is from Maybelline. It is the color sensational lip in 920 Nude Lust. Now, I remember there was a time when this one was all over YouTube and everyone was getting this one. And it really is a beautiful sheer color. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Well, actually, wait, let me see what this last one looks like. This is, is this also Maybelline? 
yeah, Maybelline in 205, nearly there. This one's a lot more shimmery. Mm, they're really similar in the light. Um, so I really only need one or the other. So I think I am going to hold on to Nude Thrill and get rid of Nearly There. Okay, so before I get on to my color pops, I have all of my minis. These are more high-end products. I have three from MAC. I have Whirl, Russian Red, and Velvet Teddy. I love all three of these. Velvet Teddy has gotten some love. It's pretty beat up. And Whirl, I haven't actually gotten to try yet, but it is a nice color. So I'm going to hold on to the three little mini MAC ones. Okay, so this Marc Jacobs one, I've never reached for. It's honestly, it's a bit boring. I think I got it as like a free perk at Sephora. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This one is from Smashbox. It is... I hope I can't even say because it's ripped off. <laughs> but I think it's the Be Legendary in red. I feel like it's not a red that I would reach for. Just because it's got like really pink tones to it. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of that one. Okay, this is a Burberry lipstick in Russet number 93. And that is absolutely beautiful. That's, I'm going to hold on to this one. And then this Tom Ford one. I was actually really upset by how much I liked this. Because it's so expensive. But it's just such a beautiful color. I didn't even say the color. It's an Indian rose. God, and it looks beautiful. You have to reapply it throughout the day. But uh, it's just stunning. So let's go ahead and move on to my ColourPop lippies. One thing I have to say that I hate about this like packaging is that everything like wears off and that you're only left with like the name on the bottom on some of them which is just incredibly annoying. So I'm sorry if I don't have all the shade names ready just because like they wear off really quickly so one that i know for sure that i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of is the lippy sticks i don't really like this formula as much i have the shade skimpy i used it a few times wasn't a huge fan so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one okay so i have the color likely right here let's see i'm gonna be swatching a lot for these that one's a pretty color right there so let's hold on to this one this one is exaggerated. Oof, that one is really warm. Not sure I would ever wear that one. That one's gonna go ahead and go. And this is the color Kapow. Right now, really. Okay, and we're back. The vacuuming's gone. So to continue with the color pops, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out the few that I know for sure that I want to keep. I definitely want to keep the ultra mattes in Arriba and Notion. These nice dark colors right there. I want to hold on to Fairy Floss, which is a glossy lip, and Tight Fit, which is also a glossy lip. And then along with this um, ultra matte in Mamacita. Let's see, what else do I want to keep? Times Square was a really nice color, so I think I want to hold on to this one. I want to go ahead and get rid of the color Love Muffin. It's really pink. I'm not really into the pinks, so this one's gonna go. Uh, now with the Aquarius bundle. I'm not really into the color, and honestly I find myself wanting to kind of distance myself from the creator behind this. I do own a couple of her other products that I do like, and, you know, out of collaborations, but I'm, I'm gonna do my best to not, um, like, advertise them where I can, and since I'm not reaching for these as it is, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all of the Aquarius ones. Curvy is a really nice gloss from the I Love Sarahi collection. I'm gonna keep this one. Monday is a really nice ultra matte lip. It's 
a beautiful color right there. Let's see, this one is an ultra satin in little stitches. It's like a light purple. I don't see myself using this at all, so I'm going to decolor this one. Uh, back to Kapow, which is a really deep purple. I don't really have any other colors like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. Magic Wand is a glossy lip, but I already have two other glossy lips. No, I lied. Magic Wand is not a glossy lip. <laughs> and actually, that's a really nice color. So, that is one reason why I am a little upset that the the names on the packaging get rip rubbed off so quickly because I had no idea that this was an actual satin lip anymore. I thought it was a glossy lip, which is why I didn't reach for it. And I wouldn't have known that until I swatched it. So I am gonna hold on to Magic Wand. This one is double tap. Ooh, no. That one is very, very bright, very pink. I'm never gonna wear this, so moving that one along. It's an ultra satin in 951. Ooh, that one's nice and dark. It's a nice deep brown. But it's the satin formula. I'm not sure if I would wear that all day. But I do like the color, so I'm gonna hold on and give it another try. This one is in Mess Around. It's an ultra satin. See, that one's a unique color. I don't have anything else that color in my collection, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. We're almost there. Only three left. This one is... looks like an ultra satin in Freakin' Freck. Ooh, that one's a nice, like deep berry color, so I am going to hold on to that one. This one is Screenshot. That one is beautiful as well. That's a nice, like, corally nude. I'm going to hold on to that one. And then last, last but not least, this one is Top 8, and this is an Ultra Matte Lip. That is a beautiful, like, not burgundy, but like a deep berry. So I am gonna hold on to that one. Okay, so this is the final product. Everything on the left is what I am keeping. I have all color pops in here. I'll probably put the rest of like the longer products in there as well. And then everything on the right is what I am decluttering. I did pretty well, just about 40% of what I had. Let me go ahead and count out how many I'm keeping versus decluttering. Okay, so I'm keeping 41 lip products and I am decluttering 27, which isn't half, but that is great progress. And now I'm just holding on to the things that I know I like. I like the formula, I like the shades, and that I know that I'm going to reach for. So thank you so much for coming along with me on this little declutter journey. If you like it, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.